ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ടു ലാസ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് നയൻത്ത് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഇൻ ദി സ്മോളർ ക്ലാസ്സസ് യു ഹവ് ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് മീൻ ഓർ ആവറേജ് യു നോ ദി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഓഫ് ആവറേജ് യു നോ ദി കോണ്ടക്സ്റ്റ് എറ്റ് വിച്ച് വി നീഡ് ടു കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ഓർ വി നീഡ് ടു കൺസിഡർ മീൻ ഓർ ആവറേജ് ഓഫ് ഡാറ്റ ഗിവൺ and you have found out how mean is to be calculated when some data is given there here this chapter we have to continue the study that you have already made there exist many contexts in our daily life at which we need to consider average for example we know nowadays in our schools students are served with known meal in order to determine how much food is to be prepared at first we have to know we need to know how much food that a student can consume or the average food quantity a student needed is to be determined first there average comes there like that if we consider a passenger boat to determine how many men is to be allowed in the boat we have to determine the average weight of a man therefore there also comes the average if the number of people allowed in a lift attached in a building is to be calculated is to be assessed we need to determine what is the average weight of a human being like that and so the average comes at very many contexts in our daily life now let us find the average see here the weight of 10 men are listed let us write the weight of 10 men let their weight be like this see 75 is the kilogram is the weight of one and the other one get 80 kilos 68 kilos 59 kilos and 90 kilos 68 kilos and 75 80 then 90 again comes 80 now count how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 10 men their weights are given here we need to find out the average or mean average mean we need to sum up or we need to find out the sum of all these data given there then we have to divide by the number of men there the number of men is 10 we have to divide it by 10 and so we need to add 75 plus 80 plus 68 plus 59 plus 90 plus 68 plus 75 plus 80 plus 90 plus 80 all this one should be divided by by 10 all this one divided by 10 that's equal to see in the numerator we have to sum up all the numbers in the numerator now 75 let us first take the 70 70 plus 80 150 plus 60 210 plus 50 260 plus 90 350 plus 60 410 plus 70 480 plus 80 560 plus 90 650 plus 80 650 plus 80 will be 730 now 730 is the again 5 and 8 13 plus 9 will be uh, 22 plus 8 will be 30 plus 5 35 35 and 7 30 will be 7 65 divided by this 10 divided by 10 7 65 divided by 10 will be 76.5 this one is the weight of average weight of this list of men okay average weight of this 10 men is found now it is 76.5 now 
instead of finding the mean or average as we have done here we could have done it in this way also see these are the 10 men's weight given and so let us write it in a heading under a, a heading like this see here weight weight of men weight in kilogram it is here number of men we give under data e, under these two headings see here 59 kilogram that is the smallest value 59 kilogram weight is there for one man now now the case of 59 is over 68 kilograms is the other 68 kilograms here 268 kilograms are there 68 kilograms weight is there for two men here 68 this one and this one these two 68s let us cancel now what about 75 the next data largest number there the next it is 75 how many 75s are there here one more 75 is there therefore 75 kilogram is there for two men now all 75 is over what about then the next 75 the next it is 80 how many 80s are there three 80s are there then 80 kilogram weight is there for three men 80 kilogram weight is there for three men let us cancel out all 80s then then the next it is 90 how many 90s are there 90 is 90 will be there for two men these two men get 90 kilogram weight now all are listed in this way here their weights and the number of men come under that weight comes is listed here this kind of representation we call it frequency table how much each item is repeated here these numbers are written which fall under each item this kind of representation we will tell frequency distribution now let us make the total like this total weight or total under the heading total we can write 59 only one man is there therefore 159 will be 59 now 68 kilogram two men get therefore two times 68 is to be found two times 68 will be 136 like that now 75 kilogram two men get 75 kilogram therefore two 75s will be 150 150 see here it is 150 then 80 kilogram for three men therefore three 80s three 80s will be 240 240 then 90 kilogram two men are there therefore two 90s are there it will be 180 now to find out the total we need to sum up all these numbers now that's equal to when we find all these number when added 9 plus 6 will be 15 that 5 is written here then 1 1 plus 5, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 5 will be 14 plus 4, 18 plus 8, 26 is there. Now that 6 is written, 2 is there. 2 plus 1, 3, plus 1, 4, plus 2, 6, plus 1, 7, 7, 65, 7, 65. Therefore, average is equal to, or mean is equal to, the sum is 7, 65 divided with number of men 10 that's equal to 76.5 in this way also we could have found the answer here we have categorized each item like this each item 59 it, their number is there 68 kilogram their number is rather this kind of representation we call it a frequency table now when large number of data is there to find out the average in this way will not be practical 
For an example, we know in a class there exist 60 or 50 students. If we are asked to find out the average mark obtained to that class in an exam, we have to, in the former case, we have to sum up. We have to add all the marks then divide by the total number or that means total number may be 50 or 60 and so all those 60 values is to be added. If there are 60 students in the class, that 60 marks is to be added, then we have to divide by 60. It will be time consuming and it will not be practical. It is not possible to do always in that way. At that time, suppose if there are 40 students in a class, their marks can be listed as shown below. See, marks obtained by students in a class are listed here like this. See. If the marks are distributed like this, five students are there within the range 0 to 10. In that class, 40 students are there. We just suppose 40 students are there in that class. Among that 40 students, five students get their marks in between 0 to 10. Like that, nine students get their marks in 10 to 20, 15 students in between 20 to 30, like that. Now, we need to find out the average of this data given. How can we find out the average? Now, to find out the average, we have to make some assumptions. Here we will proceed not as we have done in the former case. Here, these five students in the mark 0 kum 10 in the day is the same. These five students in the mark are different. That's why total value is the same as the total value. But we have to make an assumption. This is the same as the mark 0 and 10 and the mid value is 5. Okay, 0 and 10 and the mid value is 5. That's 5 mark. That's why we have to make an assumption. Averuda total mark, orang itu ke five an, anda suppose ini anjil total mark five into five ayat twenty five ayat itu. Atau twenty five itu yang mana pergi yang mana value? Ya dar tertutul aver ke kita mana values add sih itu pohu an anjil. Kita mana ur value itu? Ya dar tertutul allah averuda ke kita mana values add sih yang boh ten and ada tertutul number sun daum zero and ada tertutul number sun daum. Angan yang lain kuda add sih yang boh. Kita itu ada total anda. Ah total, ini pada ini dia tuh ini five ini ni, nampak value itu difference orang nampak berani tak? Aduh, untuk tuh ini five orang nampak suppose ini orang tuh korang pun mila, value itu detun dah gila nampak. Yang mana boleh? Ten minum tuh ini cum ye deh ilu, an ini orang budu kuti gula mark cum ini baru ini bumbu kerjanya mai tapi gula mark gula anda nampak karnya gula. Aduh, untuk ini orang budu kuti gula kerjanya mark ten minum tuh ini ini dia ye dek gula. Nadikulah value itu la 15 anu nda suppose itu gaya kali. Abi rute total mark nda pernah. Lio ambudu kuti rute total nda pernah. Dadu 9 times that mid value 15 ayi kau. Adu 135 ayi kau. A 135 nda pernah itu nda value. Nampuk iya dar tertera la value su undu nda suppose itu lo. Ia ambudu kuti rute ini iya dar tertera la value su add je dal kuti nda saman. A samam iya 135 nda malu value iru macam nda beran nda diri kila. Therefore there is not much wrong to suppose their total value is 15 into 9. Like that this 15 students get their score in between 20 to 30 at that time we will suppose each student to get the mid value of 20 to 30 therefore the mid value is 25 therefore the total mark obtained from this category or this to the total mark which comes in this category will be 25 times 15 that value can be considered as the total mark of the student who comes in this category. Like that, this is seven students get their marks in between 30 to 40. Therefore, their total is considered as the mid value of this one is 35 into 7. Like that, the total mark obtained here in this category will be 45 into 4. Let us stabilize this one as shown below. Nammal, e values on the mighty edithana, Shradika. The first column represents Mars. This one is Mars. It is written Mars like this. Here it is Mars. This one it is number of students. Number of students is there. 0 to 
ടെൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് കാറ്റഗറി ടെൻ ടു ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി ടു തേർട്ടി തേർട്ടി ടു ഫോർട്ടി ആൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടി ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റി ദീസ് ആർ ദി കാറ്റഗറീസ് ദീസ് ആർ ദി ക്ലാസ്സസ് നൗ ഈച്ച് സീറോ ടു ടെൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ക്ലാസ് ടെൻ ടു ട്വൻറ്റി ഇസ് എ ക്ലാസ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ക്ലാസ് ഇൻ്റർവെൽസ് ആർ ദ റിലേറ്റഡ് നൗ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഹു വിച്ച് കംസ് ഇൻ ഈച്ച് ക്ലാസ് സീറോ ടു ടെൻ ഹോ മെനി ഫൈവ് നയൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ സെവൻ ഫോർ ഫൈവ് നയൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ സെവൻ ഫോർ സി ഫൈവ് നയൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ സെവൻ ഫോർ ദീസ് ആർ ദി നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഇൻ ഈച്ച് കാറ്റഗറി ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞത് എന്താ ഒരു ടേ കോളും കൂടി ഇവിടെ കൊടുത്തിട്ട് ഇതിന്റെ മിഡ് വാല്യൂ എന്താ നമുക്ക് ആദ്യ കോളത്തിൽ എഴുതാം ഓക്കെ നൗ Mid value is to be written. We have added one more column there. Mid value is to be written. 0 to 10. The mid value is 5. Now next. 10 to 20. Mid value is 15. Now next mid value will be 25. 35. 45. Now as we discussed. the marks obtained by the students in this category five student get 5 marks nine student gets each student get 15 marks therefore their total and so here we have to add one more column there we have to find out the total from each category now here one more column is added there the total mark is to be found total mark from each category total e അഞ്ച് സ്റ്റുഡൻസിനും കിട്ടുന്ന ഓരോ കോഴ് സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റിനും കിട്ടുന്ന മാർക്ക് ഫൈവ് ആൻഡ് സപ്പോസ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു ഫൈവ് വിൽ ബി ദർ ടോട്ടൽ ദറ്റ് വി നോ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് നയൻ ടൈംസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ഈച്ച് സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗെറ്റ് സപ്പോസ് ഡാസ് ദർ മാർക്ക്സ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ദർ ഫോർ നയൻ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആർ ദർ ദർ ഫോർ ടോട്ടൽ മാർക്ക് വിൽ ബി നയൻ ടൈംസ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ നയൻ times 15 9 times 15 we know it is 135 we do that next it is 15 into 25 it is written here 15 into 25 15 into 25 will be 25 10 times 250 plus 5 more 25 125 it is 375 375 is the total the next 7 times 35 7 times 35 7 into 35 either then 7 times 35 will be 7 into 5 35 then 3 then 24 245 is the 7 times 35 then 4 times 45 4 times 45 will be 4 times 45 we know it is 180 now we have to add all these numbers together this total number this one is the total of each category then to find out the average we need to sum up all these numbers here therefore again one more total there grand total is equal to this 5 plus 5 10 plus 5 plus 5 therefore 20 0 is left 2 is there 2 plus 2 4 plus 3 7 plus 7 14 plus 4 14 plus 4 it will be 18 plus 8 18 plus 8 will be 26 6 is written then 2 is there 2 plus 1 3 plus 3 6 plus 2 8 plus 1 9 960 total is 960 therefore average is equal to average we know average is always sum of the number sum of the data divided by total number there sum here we see 960 now the total number we see it is this total this total will be 9 plus 5 14 plus 50 20 9 plus 7 36 plus 4 it will be this total this total we know it is 40 here that is 40 and so this one is divided by 40 that's equal to when this zeros are cancelled 96 by 4 will be there 96 by 4 4 in 9 1 2 times it is 
two times and here one is left in 16 for four times therefore it will be 24 the average mark of the student in that class is 25 i think that you have understood how we have calculated the average here this one is the method to find out the average of a continuous frequency distribution table here this one is continuous frequency distribution table its average is now be calculated now let us have some textbook problem solved read the first question the weight of six players in a volleyball team are all different and the average weight is 60 kilograms prove that the team has at least one player weighing more than 60 kilograms prove that the team has at least one player weighing less than 60 kilograms here we know there exist six players in a volleyball team their weights are all different and the average weight is 60 kilograms. First question asks us to prove there exists at least one player with weight more than 60 kilograms. And so to prove that one, what will happen if there exists nobody with weight 60 kilograms? Let us suppose like that. If nobody is there with weight, with weight, more than more than 60 kilograms no player in that play in that team is the with weight 60 kilogram mean all player get weight less than 60 kilogram then the total weight will be then the total weight then the total weight will be less than so we see here we supposed all the player get their weight less than 60 therefore then the total weight will be less than 360 less than 360 total weight less than 360 mean average will be average will be less than Total weight less than 360 and average less than 360 by 6 side which is which will be which will be less than 60 less than 60 360 equal to the value in a 6 600 divided then cut in the value 16 to the other income in the one average 16 to the other program average 60 and the number in the our statement about less the average 16 to the other program in the lowest the worm or how to give him 16 to move on in lincoln if nobody is there with weight to 60 kilogram the average will go less than 60 and so it is not to acceptable therefore there should be at least one with weight more than 60 kilograms like that here also the second question asks us to tell to prove there exists at least one player with weight less than 60 kilograms if nobody is there with weight less than 60 then all the weights are above 60 kilograms then the total weight will be more than 360 because each one of them get, get more than 60 means the total weight will be more than 360 60 higher than 360 above a lot of the 16 the total weight will be more than 360 therefore the average will be 360 higher than average 60 like more than 360 is the 360 by 6 will be more than 60 above there the less than 60 in one of the people average greater than 60 in the world other where i'm buried because the average is 60 about either side of my other economy and degree what i'll get him weight less than six item down on earth you would approve the poor than a material improve on earth that second part is here i am setting to be done by yourself okay you can write this question and this answer there and return in your notebook write yourself the second part but i have explained how it is to be done now read the second question find the two sets of six numbers find two sets of six numbers with the average 60 
satisfying each of the conditions below. Okay, we are asked to find out two sets of six numbers with the average of 60 satisfy each of the conditions give below. Four of numbers are less than 60 and two of them are greater than 60. Average 60 and six different numbers and number than a pari another. E would play the case of the name. Okay, average 60 and six numbers and six are the number. And satisfying the conditions below. So average 60 and the six numbers are the number. Four of numbers are less than 60 and two of them are greater than 60. I'm going to run the set to the run for you. Average 60 is 6 numbers in the total 6 into 60 that is 360. We will answer the total is 6 into 60 will be 360. Now let us write its answer in the next page. See. Correct question Matra and Yanaki Chidirana. Idin to the Nedan to set the Chiana. I don't know Matra and Chidu the Rana. A video and over setting good in Ningalay than the other day. second question is they were under setting in Ningalay, Dakirkanam. Only I know answer is the Rana. Four numbers less than sixty. Umla four numbers in a Namakistrolam, sixteen to the Isle of four numbers fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine. We have returned four numbers less than sixty. Now, 60 is 56, 4 is 3, 3 is 2, 4 is 1, 1 2, 3 is 4. What is 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 10. Age 60 is 60 is 3, 4 is 1, 1 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 1, 1 is 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 you see, these are one set of numbers such that their average will be 60 and four of them are less than 60, mean two of them will be greater than 60. And so we have answered as set in the question. Write two sets of six numbers with the average 60 satisfying each of the conditions below. Four of the numbers are less than 60 and two of them are greater than 60. Four of them are less than 60 and two of them are greater than 60. This number is the number of the set. This 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 is the the set. This is the number Okay, that part is left to you. Like that is the second question also there like that. Four of the numbers are near the greater than sixty eight of four num, less than sixty eight of ten or no. It is the question on the second part. That one is left to you to be done as homework. Here I am here I am suggesting two more homeworks. See you have to do these two words also there as homework in your note. This one is to find out the the table shows the children in a classes order according to the marks they got for a math test. Calculate the average mark of the class. But here marks are given and the number of students are there. You know how it is to be done that we have shown uh, as the first question of this chapter. Now this one is the same question. The teachers in a university are sorted according to their ages as shown below. That means same question means this one is also to find out the mean or average. The, the class interval is given. Okay, the case of class interval that we have discussed. And so these two questions that you have to do as homework. Still, two more questions are there in your textbook. That one also to be done yourself as homework. Anyway, let us conclude now. Okay, thank you all.